Remember when you were a kid and you just could not wait for Christmas to get here already? And it always took too long, like there were somehow 4,000 days between December 1st and December 25th. And there was so much fun stuff, right? Like all the school parties and the school plays and all the family parties and decorating your house and making cookies and eating all the treats and then seeing all the Christmas lights. Oh my gosh, that was my favorite. Driving around and looking at Christmas lights. Oh, that was my jam. Well, now as an adult, far too often I get sucked into the, oh my gosh, there's only 25 days till Christmas. Do I have the Christmas cards? Did we buy all the presents? Did we get all the stuff to bake all the things for everybody? Did I forget anyone on my list? Um, I have to get all the things ready for the kids, for all the things they're doing for Christmas through school and church. And oh my gosh, I'll rest in January. <sighs> and when I get like that, I've completely missed the entire point of Christmas. See, Christmas is God coming down to be with us, to rescue us, just like he promised way back in the Garden of Eden when sin threatened to rob us of our relationship with him forever. And this week is the first week of Advent where we focus on hope, the hope of Christmas. Now, when I think of the hope of Christmas, there is one song that sticks out in my head, and that is, Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. I heard this for the first time, I don't know, three or four years ago. And right after I finished talking, there's going to be a video that I saw the first time I ever heard this hymn, and I have been in love with it ever since. Because it reminds me that Christmas isn't about how busy I can be, how many people I can buy for, how many perfect cards I can send out. It is about Jesus and the promise of who he is today, yesterday, and forever. That he is God's promise to us. That he is our savior. That I have hope because I have Jesus. So I hope you guys enjoy Come Thou Long Expected Jesus by the Skit Guys.